What's up guys? iOS 11 is so close, you could almost taste it. We've got less than a month to go until we see the first beta of this at WWDC 2017. So I just wanted to cover some of the latest Apple news that's just dropped right now regarding some new products we'll see at WWDC 2017, as well as iOS 10.3.3, which released today. We're gonna take a look at this and see what's new, what's changed in very sudden update. I didn't think there would be another one so soon, but Apple continues to improve iOS 10 before the release of iOS 11. So let's go ahead and cover all of that. So of course, we're gonna be seeing the big stuff like iOS 11, macOS 10.13, and tvOS and watchOS. So the software stuff is a given. I've covered some of that, some of the wishlist stuff that I want to see out of it, but there's not too much being said about what's gonna happen there. But there is a new product or products that are rumored to happen uh, to be announced at WWDC. It doesn't happen often, but there are sometimes refreshes and updates to products that happen at this conference. So Apple actually may release a new product altogether that we've never seen before from Apple, which would be an Amazon Echo competitor. So a little tower that would sit in your house would be sort of a smart home hub where you control everything in your house. It'd have a speaker built in, of course. It would have Siri, it would have AirPlay, and it would run some sort of version of iOS. So that means it may have a little display on there as well, but what's for certain is that it will have have some gesture controls, some touch controls on the actual body, which by the way, will look like a Mac Pro tower. So here's just a couple of concept images of uh, what that would look like. Not very good stuff out there. No one really knows, but I think it'd be interesting. This little hub sitting in your house, you'd ask it anything at any time to do something for you. At the same time, concerns about privacy with the NSA, all stuff like that, that uh, Amazon hasn't handled very well, but Apple's always been good about that. So we'll have to see, but uh, some interesting things about it is that it would actually be running a variant of Beats speakers inside of it, so the performance of the audio could be very good. And the fact that Apple's finally releasing something new altogether uh, would be really cool. I mean, they did just drop the AirPods, but beyond that, it's not very many new products. That would be launching in June and announced in June as well at WWDC. So we'll have to see about that. And Ming-Chi Ko is saying that at WWDC, there is a greater than 70% chance Apple will be announcing the new 10.5 inch iPad Pro series. This is the one with the very, very slim bezels. It's gonna look you know, completely new, sleek and sharp. A little reflection of what the iPhone 8 coming later this year may look like. It'll have the A10X processor, some sort of new software that could be optimized for the massive display on this device, as well as some improvements to cameras and even a second generation Apple Pencil with a much finer tip, more precise, and some new sensors inside of there. So he says there's a very good chance of that launching 70% plus at WWDC. Also rumored by BGR, they say an insider source is claiming that the iPad mini series may be discontinued altogether. So it's a little tiny budget iPad. It's been selling well, the entry point for iPads for Apple. I don't know why they would discontinue it. I personally agree with one Reddit poster. He said that instead of phasing it out altogether, Apple may do this. So they may do complete rebranding as earlier rumored. The iPad series, just iPad 7.9 for the iPad mini and iPad 9.7 for the larger model and then the iPad Pro 10.5 and 12.9. I think it'd be a much cleaner lineup instead of what they have now, a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo of names and stuff like that. So it may not be completely killed, just rebranded, that's all. And in a new report by Bloomberg, which was just dropped today, I was very happy to hear that Apple may be actually updating its existing MacBook and MacBook Pro models at WWDC. So this means an internal refresh. The outside or features on the outside of the device will not change, it'll stay the same, it'll look the same, just be faster inside of the device. And some of these rumored updates, of course, are KB Lake. We may see an update to the RAM, but that wasn't really talked about. So mostly just an update to the processors, processor bump as usual to KB Lake from Skylake. This will bring about a 12% improvement in clock speed. Uh, most of the change is in the 4K performance. So 4K video at 10 bits, uh, you know, the one with more colors will run more smoothly on the device and the built-in graphics will be able to run Overwatch uh, smoothly. So Intel is upping its graphics game, but then again, that, those have never really been that good. Still, you know, a welcome improvement. So we may actually see new MacBooks at WWDC, just a slight bump in performance. And now to iOS 10.3.3, let's take a look at what's new. So here it is, just a quick rundown. It's a dev beta for now. This is the one new change in this update. It's called dev beta now in the software overview page. Previously, it was just uh, whatever version beta one and then public beta one, and now they included a dev. And that's the only change that I could find. So other than that, it's a pretty big update. It came in at two gigs. Uh, from iOS 10.3.2, couldn't really see the justification for that. Before storage, 
102.22 after 102.21 so no change there no change in anything really it does add the feedback app also also oh, that's back now i tested the freeze bug that one still works the shutter bug is still there believe it or not apple doesn't seem to have any priority in removing this bug as it seems to exist firmware after firmware so that's annoyingly still there uh, thanks to iDevice help i just wanted to show you guys a cool little bug from him over on his channel i'll leave a link to the video uh, down below but this one still works on this version so the dock bug to make your dock disappear just like that is actually still working and it's super cool because it will stay that way so real quick i'll go ahead and run a geekbench for you guys and see if numbers wise there's any difference so here's iOS 10.3.2 59 43 multi 35 33 single and basically just a little bit lower on the new score that's not reflected at all in the os so guys there it is iOS 10.3.3 can't really say much has changed, probably another security and bug fix total, but even though uh, any of the bugs I'm experiencing haven't been fixed yet. We'll see what happens with this one, but thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more on WWDC. Peace.